Is being crew chief your dream job, or do you have other career ambitions? Um, I don't know if I ever dreamed to be a crew chief. I've been racing my whole life, so uh, yeah, I guess at this at this level to be you know a crew chief was my dream job. I've always kind of wanted to be the guy in charge making the decisions. So that's without a doubt that the correct position in NASCAR. Now, do you make every decision when it comes to the team, like what the guys are eating for lunch? <laughs> no, I'm uh, I'm actually managed from a distance. I mean, my guys. Uh, you know, I kind of like hold veto power. I, I encourage those guys to make a lot of decisions. The engineers come up with most of the setup. Uh, my car chief comes up with most of the mechanical assembly. I just kind of sit back and kind of put all the parts together and, and make sure they kind of all agree and they complement one another. Would you say that you're the crew chief at home as well? <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, you know, uh, one part of this job, you travel so much. So the crew chief at home would definitely be my wife. If Dale was out sick, who would be the best person from your crew to drive for him? <laughs> Man, I don't think we have one. Um, if Dale was out sick, and, and I'll deny it even though it's on camera, but TJ, our spotter, is probably the next best driver on the team. But if anybody tells him I told him that, then I'm denying it. You were 16 when you got a full-time job at Hendrick. What did your parents think of that? You know, my parents loved it. My dad's in racing. So I think it's kind of like if you're a golfer and your kid starts to play golf, it's a real you know, ambitious moment for the family. So the fact that I've got a full-time job in racing, I think was kind of like the, the next step in our family. So uh, I think my dad was proud. You didn't have to convince them or plead with them in any way? No, no, I didn't have to really do anything. I think, uh, I really just think they were happy I, I had a job. Uh, were you still able to participate in normal teenager stuff like football games <laughs> and dances? I would not say I was a normal teenager, no. Uh, I never made it to a prom. I never made it to a sporting event after my sophomore year in high school. Um, I've basically went to Hendrick High School, Hendrick College, Hendrick Employment. I've basically been a, you know, a guy in this company for a long time. If there was one Diet Dew left in the cooler, who would get it, you or Dale? Oh, me. I'm bigger, quicker, stronger. I mean, it's really no doubt. Do you work on your own vehicle, or do you have a professional Oh, I let the professionals handle my vehicle. Um, I have enough vehicles here at the shop. I, I don't need to work on my own. Uh, luckily, you know, they don't, they don't take a lot of work anymore. Do your family or friends ever ask you about their cars? Like, hey, it's making this noise when I turn the wheel? No street cars, but every family or friend that races, they think I can adjust on everything, you know, because you're a crew chief, you must know the most about a, a late model, a go-kart, a drag car, or they, they, they must think I study everything. But uh, yeah, they're always looking for free advice. Do you have a crew chief mentor that you look up to? I have a lot. You know, I was fortunate enough to work with Ray Evernham. He was a, a huge inspiration for what I did. I learned a lot from him and Robbie, and I've tried to kind of, you know, melt, kind of melt all their different personalities into one and just be me. But I've, you know, there's a lot of guys before me that held my position. I've learned a tremendous amount from. Are there crew chiefs out there that are younger than you, or are you the youngest on the cup level? <laughs> Someone have to check, but I'm probably the youngest. If I'm not, I was at one point. I'm, I'm sure. I think every day I get up, I'm. I'm more than a day older, so. The levels in the Duke Crew app are based on actual positions that you've held in your career at Hendrick Motorsports. Which one, besides Crew Chief, was your favorite? I think I had the most fun and enjoyed it the most when I was the tire guy. I think, um, you know, the only thing that touches the ground is the tires. So when I was the tire guy, it, it, it what helped me the most to become a Crew Chief. You learn a lot about how the car is reacting. You learn a lot about adjustments. It's an area that it's a, a, you know, it's kind of a team of one. One guy is in charge of the tires. So you get to do it your own way. You learn how to manage your own time. And uh, now that I'm a crew chief, I look at our tire guy as a vital, vital part and how we run well. So that was probably the part I enjoyed the most. Right now, the Dew crew is hanging on every word that you say. <laughs> what would you like to say? Um, I mean, I think it's just, the whole thing is cool. I think that the, the you know, the, Facebook deal and the people and how much they've bit into it and, and some of those guys they're, they're amazing I mean these people are I think they spend as much time with it as I do with the race car so they're definitely devoted they deserve the level they've accomplished